Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoy my vlogs in Chongqing. If you didn't watch yet, go watch it. It's an amazing city. On the next three episodes, I will take you to the fascinating city of Xi'an. It used to be the capital of China and there is just so much to do here. Guys, finally arrived in a destination I've been wanting to come for as long as I remember. I'm filming this because it's very funny. Out of all the airports I have been to, it's the very, very first time I have seen a camera of like videos of how they're loading the baggages to let you know what is the status of your luggage. To me, that is pretty cool. I have definitely never seen that before. Maybe it is already everywhere else in China. I'm at the JW Marriott Xi'an. It's actually already almost 3 p.m. I did get here at about 3.30 last night and it's just way too hot outside. It is still 38 degrees Celsius. So now I'm waiting for my car. Didi Gonna is super convenient. So it is an app that you guys have to learn how to use when you're in China because it is exactly like Uber. We had arrived at the Tian Da Qian Temple Heritage Park. It is right next to the Da Yong Paganda, which is also known as the Great Wild Goose Paganda because there's a really famous picture spot here, so that's why I came. And I know this area is known to be more quiet. You can see the Paganda right here already, where I'm pointing. It is a lot more peaceful than other areas of ASEAN. There's a hotel here as well. Beautiful. It's already 3.30 p.m. It is blistering hot. Good thing about being in China is you don't really have to bring a lot of water except that one bottle because everywhere you can refill and there are drink shop everywhere you go in China. Almost. Unless you go to the villages. This Joy City right next to the park also has a lot of photo spots on the roof. That's where we are heading now because I want to show you guys. So we had arrived at the Joy City which is the mall right next to the Great Wild Goose Pagoda right here in the back of me. Uh, a little history about the Pagoda. It is the big one. There are two here in Xi'an that are like famous. Actually the other one is a little one. It was built in 634 AD so you think about it, it's been here for over 1,400 years. Pretty crazy. You can climb up there to the top. You, up there, you can get like a really good panoramic view of the city. It is a very important Buddhist temple in Xi'an. One of the top three, actually, that you must visit. So definitely don't miss it. And I do think that this is a good place to come see it. So after this, I'm going to show you where is the next spot to take a photo. Also with a Buddha and it's free. This is the, one of the main entrance here. You see this gigantic rock and here is the pagoda. So you keep walking straight into this side entrance and then you turn left. And many photo spots here. All right, you're here. Oh, you will see people lining up. So this is what it's supposed to look like. I will hopefully be able to show you a picture. So guys, we have arrived at the Dai Tang Fu Yong Yuan. It is a garden just next to the Qian Temple and the Big Wild Goose Pagoda. I just bought the ticket right in the front. Uh, there are many QR codes that you can scan and pay by Alipay or WeChat Pay. So we're gonna go in now. There are two main attractions to the park. Wow. So the beauty about this park is that it will bring you back to the Tang Dynasty, supposedly. I already feel like I'm back in one of those Chinese dramas. So guys, behind me here, tourist car ticket. Highly re recommend you to get it. 39 RMB. Highly recommend you to do this trolley because you know what? Use your time to see the sights inside of just walking around the park unless you have a lot of time because actually it's a pretty big park. I just want to tour it around and go back to Tan Dynasty. And I want to do it in a comfortable way. So um, the official name of this park is called Tan Paradise. I do want to mention that uh, many people come here at nighttime for photos. So even daytime, I think it's beautiful too. They have souvenir stores all around. There must be a show here at night as well. I could see all the lights. And there are boats that you can take around this lake. It is beautiful, guys. Tan Paradise. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, this is crazy. It's beautiful. So guys, there's a show going. I 
I do think it is really beautiful from the side as well, not only the middle. So we had arrived at the part which is called Watching Fish in the Lotus Pond. Lots of lotus here. They said especially in the summer, it will be in full bloom. But it's already June, so I'm assuming there will be even more later on. But right now it looks like there's a lot already. Wow, it's beautiful. There's a lotus. Can you guys see? They are selling the food for the fishes here so that you can film them. Hmm, cute. Wow, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, I do think this 120 was, is worth it. If you have like some extra time, definitely recommend. Even the aunties are taking pictures. They are so cute. Beautiful. This is, according to the driver, the most photogenic spot of the whole park. I keep saying it's a park, but it's not a park. It's called Tan Paradise. So let's get a couple pictures and videos and get out of here so that we can go to the city wall of Xi'an, which is one of the most well-kept fortification in the world. Finally arrive at the bell tower. This is crazy. They call this part of the mall Inspiration Park. I was on the 8th floor. I think you have to get down to the 6th floor. So guys, I'm at this really local restaurant recommended by a local. Wow, this is a chicken inside. It comes with a noodle and this appetizer that they told me I have to eat now. This noodle, oh my god, and then beef. Crazy, this is crazy. Look at all this food in front of me, guys. Let's try the chicken. Mm. It is good here. So well, it's so cheap, and then everyone can get full and everything. This is the restaurant, guys. It is in a very old school style way. Very, very old school. But I just want to show you guys what it looks like. It is pretty cool. There's the kitchen area. Super old school, super old school. Like, oh, this is so cute. Oh, you even have a place for photos. Oh my God, these are legit. Oh, that's so cool. This is a place for photos. That's what the old China looks like. Many of these are Hong Kong movie stars. Oh my God, these are cool. Good morning, guys. It is 6 a.m. right now. It's gonna be a long full day of activity. So first, right now, we are at the Watching Palace. It is a very, very, very famous palace. Since the Tang Dynasty have been coming here to do thermal spa and to relax. It's like a royal retreat, if that makes sense. This is where the show would be at tonight. The most famous show here in Xi'an, and it is a must-see. Uh, this is the main pool. They call it Nine Dragon Pool. There was a love story that happened here. This is the, they call it the Tree of Xi'an. This is the most famous statue here in the palace. It is one of the four ancient beauty of China. And why the place is so famous as well, because of the love story between her and the empire. We are now entering the most famous thermal bath here. So look at the people, guys. This is the uh, most famous pool because it is a gift from the emperor Li Longji for Yang Guifei, which is the one of the wives, because it's her exclusive thermal bath. Can you see the flower? It is in the shape of a flower. So the fun facts about her, she has a very heavy body odor that smells very bad, right? But because of all the ingredients that they put in the thermal bath and the body lotion that she uses. So then of course all the bad odor will be gone and she smells so good and those scents last for like more than a day. And that's why the Empire loves her so much. That's one of the reasons I should say, not not them. Not only that, but it's a very famous that she smells good. Everyone says she smells good is because of the lotion that she uses after she goes into the thermal bath. 
There used to be columns around this、uh, thermal spa here on the side of the pool, and the two holes there is where the water comes from. Guys,、yeah, so now we are now looking at how the thermal water, the hot spring, is here compared to other thermal bath or hot spring in the world. There's always, if you have been, I'm sure, there's always like a sulfur aroma, right? But this is the one of the only few in the world that does not have that smell. But meanwhile, still have almost 30 types of different things inside. Temperature is always 43 degrees Celsius. Okay, and then over here you get to wash your hand, and it's like a a tester of、uh, of how the water is. Whoa, it is hot. Very, very, very hot. Well, it's like perfect temperature, though. Okay, so now I can go back to the interesting fact about Yang Guifei. So aside from that, she has a body odor. I don't know if you can tell from the statue. At that time in the Chinese civilization, the the bigger you are, not like the skinny people that you see all the time now in China. The bigger you are. The more beautiful you are at that time, because it's like it means wealth. Not even about being heavy or fat. It's just that they don't like bones at that time, you know. So at that time, the bigger you are, almost the prettier you are. So that's another interesting fact. They said we must touch the head for good luck, like a turtle head. It is for good luck. This is a map of the area in the Tang Dynasty. Humongous! Look at all these mountains and the palaces and the different. The, of course, the middle one right here is the palace with all the thermal bath and all the temple around it. Oh my God!、Uh, I pay 20 RMB to be in this type of cart again, so that、uh, I don't have to walk up because the cable car is gonna take longer, and this is a lot faster, and the line is a lot shorter. So, guys, this is something I want to talk about. So, you know how there's this many people, I would say, they will save up their money and travel when they retire and old, but. Out of so many beautiful places that I went, guys, you actually need energy. You know what I mean? So, to me, guys, travel now, not later. Travel, travel while you can, not later. I'm not asking you to spend all your money, but you travel when you can, and then you go back to work. And you travel again. It makes travel more fun, you know. So we arrived at one of the very main pavilion here. And the back of me, we're gonna go up now. It is very, very important, especially between. It's,、uh, it has to do with politics. So if you're interested in it, I'll give you the name and you can Google about it. But、uh, it's between a very, very, very important person. Oh my God, it's hot. Come in the winter, guys. We are halfway up. This is the view from here at this pavilion. So let's continue the the walk up. So this is the map of this mountain, Li Xiang. We were down here. The trolley took us up here. You can still do the hike up here. So if you're not joining any tour and you have the time, more than welcome to go up because I suppose the view is really really nice. Had to get ice cream. It's just too hot right now. I'm looking at all these ancient hot spring thermal pools here. So much cooler here.、Uh, let me tell you a little bit about this place. Aside from calling it、uh, Washing Palace, the other names is Washing Pools or Washing Thermal Pools. Pretty gigantic complex consisting of many thermal baths and many pavilions. It was a imperial retreat for the empire for his all these other wives and ladies, and because you know back in the day was, they had so many ladies. This place was built in the 630s, 40s、uh, AD. So it, the whole complex is about 1,300 to 1,350 years old. And but there were records that people were already taking thermal 
back here about 2,700 years ago. The rumors was that the empire at that time in the Tang Dynasty found out about all the thermal baths, so he decided to build a gigantic retreat for himself and his family. That's why this place is um, here. But there was this particular lady, her name is Lady Yang, very, very famous because she was one of the four most beautiful women in the Chinese history, according to other books and history. And it was love at first sight for them. I'm making it very short, by the way, the story. And he was so in love with her that in later years, he didn't want to go to work. All his, you know, officials uh, were very, very angry and mad. They made him choose between the throne, like being an empire or the lady. Long story short, he killed her by giving her a white cloth so that she can hang herself. That's how the story ends. That's why it is love and sorrow. They made this whole gigantic love storyline about the story. So that's the show I'm watching tonight. It's supposed to be one of the best show in China. Cannot wait to watch it. So this is a little brief history about this place. I'm making it very brief, by the way. There are many details that I skipped. It's easily found if you're really interested about it. We're now finished at the Washington Palace. Uh, I think I spent about three hours here. This is the plaza of the Washington Palace. I am back here for the show. In China, they actually put a lot of ideas, work and mindset into these shows. So if you guys have a chance, definitely check it out. This one is so hard to get a ticket. That is one of the main reasons why I joined this day tour. Although I had all my free time, you know, because even um, at the Terracotta Warriors, I was by myself. The reason why I got it is because of this ticket, because I cannot order it online, as it's been sold out like weeks in advance. Now, I'm the security check. We're going in. Oh, this garden is really beautiful. This lake, Fu Yong Yuan. My back is heavy, that's why it keeps shaking down. Ticket! So actually, these are pretty good seats. I'm right in the center. I am on the seventh row. Pretty good seats. Let me show you around. There are so much. Like, there are rows behind me, like, left and right, like, even all the way down there. So I think this uh, tour is actually a pretty good deal because it's really mainly for the transfer. But you think about it, this is 400 bucks, 398. I paid 700 something. I think I paid 768 or 778. But that also includes the ticket to the Terracotta Army uh, Warriors, the Washington Palace earlier today. Yeah, that is a pretty good deal because it was a hotel pickup as well. On the way back, they will drop us off at the Bell Tower, which is the city center, which is still fine because I'm gonna walk around. So guys, as you know, it's really, really, really hot today or always during this time in Xi'an. So I also got a, one of these fans. It says Xi'an on this side and Chang'an on this side, which is the old name of Xi'an when I hit 10,000 subscribers. So I'll be collecting a gift from all the each con uh, city or country, depends on where I go, that I go to until then, and then I will uh, give them out. So don't forget to tell your friends to like and subscribe. Time to wind down. Hey guys, so I arrived at the JW Marriott at Xi'an. From what I know, it is a brand new hotel. On the left, you will have your 
bathroom, I mean toilet, and then you will have a bathtub on the right, the regular sink, and then the shower, ring shower, pretty nice. Let's see how the water pressure is. Um, this is not a suite, this is just a premier, like large room or whatever you call it. Uh, California king size bed, a seating area, and then mini bar, coffee machine. All these wood are really nice though, I have to say. Okay, this is like a workstation, I think. Uh, where's the. Is there other things to it? I have no idea. And then um, you will see closet. Bathroom. And okay, lots of closet space. Pretty nice. But I will have to say the staff do need a lot more training in terms of uh, JW Marriott brand. The service is not up to standard in this one. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. On next week's episode, I will take you to the one and only Terracotta Warriors. I have been wanting to go there since I was a child. See you guys next week.